When I come to the studio daily, I um, follow the same methodology every day. So I do it as a daily meditation, uh, walking to work or riding my bicycle to work, and then coming to the studio when I walk in the door, it's a sacrosanct space for me. And I bless it with my bells, and by the time I pour the paint, I'm just like a racehorse ready to go. My mother's a painter and I was lucky enough to have her teach me when I was um, a young teenager and spent a lot of time with her learning the lessons. One of her greatest lessons she ever taught me was courage. To attack the paper or the canvas or whatever it is you're working on, whatever the substrate is. To embrace it fully and to go with full intention. And that sense of bravery has always stood with me. Um, my, both of my sisters paint, um, and uh, so kind of grew up with the notion of art being uh, in a daily walk with you. Every, every day you embrace art, and it's nothing that crazily special to become a painter, it's just something you do. It's like magic every time I walk through the door. I know that that day is going to unfold before me in a very special way. And I'm not always privy to knowing exactly how that will all be at the end. But it is a relationship between myself, and the paint, and the canvas, and this space. The light is beautiful here. It's away from public eye. It's away from my family home. It really is just about myself and the paint. And I absolutely live to be able to do that. It's my greatest joy. This is a piece called Journey to the Stars and has to do with, uh, with the spirit guides and the spirit world guiding us in our journey of life. Many of them just walking through and protecting us. And they're very joyful and full of color and light. This is my gala series, Apple of My Eye, it's called. And um, just very much about the exciting rhythm of life and coming out of the apple because, of course, the apple's iconic. The stories come from my travels. The stories come from people I meet. The story comes from a pebble on the ground. It can come from anywhere, at any time. And so I'm always walking around totally wide open trying to receive the gifts from this universe, trying to be privy to the magic that's out there. I like to use different mediums. I often still use watercolor, which is my favorite medium. Um, and I use acrylic, and I use oil. Um, and I like to also bring in other elements. Sometimes I work with Japanese papers that are handmade and the effort and the love that has gone into the drawing of those in the winter is, creates the white, beautiful paper, the kozo paper. And I like to work with minerals from the earth that um, sometimes I'm lucky enough to go and gather myself. Also recently received some diamond dust from Tiffany's of Canada, <laughs> and been using that in a lot of the work also, and uh, 24 karat gold leaf. And the idea being that the pigments of the earth are all so important and so rare. Um, raw paints are made from raw pigment of the earth. And so there really is no higher value for me than those pigments that we used to paint with. Diamonds and gold are man's idea of a creation of something important, but as a painter, the pigments with which we use to make our blues and our umbers and our ochres, those are the rich qualities that come from here. The idea of home is, um, it's where one's spirit gets filled, and I love to come home after a day at the studio and really formulate what it is I've done and what it what I will be doing next. And I think the interesting thing is that even though I've laid lay down the, the brushes and, and the paints, I have not stopped painting. 
I'm constantly envisioning and seeing the world through a sense of color and a sense of design and a sense of what I would like to um, impart to the world, which is basically joy and a sense of truth and beauty. So I'd like to be able to bring that into people's homes and into people's lives. If you tell the truth with the paint or with your music or whatever your creative outlet is, people can feel it. And often I'm at exhibitions and people will cry. People will have an emotional reaction and a response to the work and they don't know why. And it is because they are connected. I'm telling the truth and they're open enough to feel the truth. That kind of magical quality is something that is truly unspoken. That's the power.